Good morning. It's Monday, Thursday, April 18th, 2019. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, His Way, and our scripture is John, chapter 13. Before the Passover celebration, Jesus knew that his hour had come to leave this world and return to his Father. He had loved his disciples during his ministry on earth, and now he loved them to the very end. It was time for supper, and the devil had already prompted Judas, son of Simon Iscariot, to betray Jesus. Jesus knew that the Father had given him authority over everything, and that he had come from God and would return to God. So he got up from the table, took off his robe, wrapped a towel around his waist, and poured water into a basin. Then he began to wash the disciples' feet, drying them with the towel that he had around him. When Jesus came to Simon Peter, Peter said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? And Jesus replied, You don't understand now what I'm doing, but someday you will. No, Peter protested, you'll never ever wash my feet. And Jesus replied, Unless I wash you, you won't belong to me. Simon Peter exclaimed, Then wash my hands and head as well, Lord, not just my feet. Jesus replied, A person who is bathed all over does not need to wash except for the feet to be entirely clean. And you disciples are clean, but not all of you. For Jesus knew who would betray him. That is what he meant when he said, Not all of you are clean. After washing their feet, he put on his robe again and sat down and asked, Do you understand what I was doing? You call me teacher and Lord, and you're right, because that's what I am. And since I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you ought to wash each other's feet. I've given you an example to follow. Do as I have done to you. I tell you the truth, slaves are not greater than their master, nor is the messenger more important than the one who sends the message. Now that you know these things, God will bless you for doing them. If you count the disciples in the picture, you'll see there are twelve. The question is, if Jesus is washing his beloved disciples' feet, why in the world is Judas there? Let's face it, in the normal course of the world's power structure, CEOs do not serve janitors, and powerful people do not do the getting-your-hands-dirty stuff. And even if the leader of the band would tune the violin for his first chair, you don't coddle and include the one who's trying to sabotage the concert. Judas is the enemy. Nobody likes Judas. Have you ever heard of a new mom or dad joyfully naming their child Judas? And on top of all of it, Jesus said to those disciples that he was doing this to teach them, and us, to follow in his footsteps. Wash the feet of friends and enemies alike. When you get clobbered on one cheek, offer the other. In the words of great theological thinkers like Pogo or Snoopy, what's up with this? It doesn't make sense. And while that's true on so many levels, when it comes to this world's view of the way things ought to be and the way Jesus says they must be, you have a case of oil and water. Sooner or later, those ingredients will separate. You cannot mix darkness and light for long. You cannot have short and tall, skinny and portly. And when it comes to pleasing God, you're not going to please worldly-minded people at all. To turn another phrase in this cacophony of mixed metaphors, it's either his way or hell's way. And for good measure, we throw in a little Bob Dylan. Well, it may be the devil or it may be the Lord, but you're going to have to serve somebody. Sooner or later, it dawns on most people who want to follow Jesus that the focus of Jesus' way is counterclockwise or counter to this world's cultural expectations and preferences. Bob Dylan had a brush with Christianity and he got it that everyone is hardwired to serve somebody. Even the person who sits in the Oval Office answers to someone higher, sooner or later. And when you lay your head down on the pillow for the last time in this world, it makes sense that it will have been a wise choice to surrender your life to his way 
much as it will make the world uncomfortable. For you today, Jesus loved Judas enough to wash his dusty feet. How are you doing with that annoying neighbor of yours? You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.